They say pride comes before fall, and this evening we get to see if the pride can catch the Marlins hook, line, and sinker. And that's our first matchup this evening in a doubleheader, the KwaZulu Marlins taking on the Limpopo Pride, and we are coming live from Wembley Arena in downtown Johannesburg. This is the Basketball National League in 2015. Of course, you wouldn't want to be anywhere else on your Friday evening but Wembley Arena to take in live basketball national action. It is a balmy Friday evening in Johannesburg, and I've got my man at QD4 with me, and we are going to break down the KwaZulu Marlins. Fee looking to work in the low post. 14 seconds on the shot clock. They still have an immense amount of time. Back to McPhee. And this time, banks in the turnaround jump hook. And that's a really good play by the Marlins. Lamini should feed McPhee at front court. Definite size advantage for the Marlins. Asimini throws it away. And once again, the Marlins on the break, but it's a three on three. Kumani all the way in one hand slam. Young Talk man. about execution. Young man getting up the floor in a hurry. Uh, and Gubani recently broke his virginity, for lack of a better word, by dunking in the game. And now he's flying to the hoop with regularity. Duma, Nsele, just inside the key, he will hit it every time. Nsele really loves that. Jumper from the top of the key and it's, knocks it down with unearing accuracy. Giovanni working the high low with Flea. Trying to jump hook. They stick with their system and they keep getting touches to McPhee and Giovanni. And right now, they don't have an answer in the post to the pride. And outside has all the time and space and got the three. Well, you are right, Q, with that much daylight, you've got to make sure that you hit that three. Koza. Manubele picks up on the loose ball. Look out, flight school. Shange to Gubani. Gubani can't hang on to it. Another turnover by the Marlins. That was a pretty decent look for Gubani. Shange finding his man wide open. Mabasa with the little show and go in the key. He'll open the scoring for the pride. Coach Gilchrist really going with a big lineup against this team due to the pride not having any big players. Tele! Can't get to the defender as Cabasele hits the three. Cabasele. Got the three! Rattles it in! Pride with the lead. That's the Pride's first lead in this contest. And a one point lead for the Pride. Cabasele stepping up from the perimeter. And that's his third three pointer. And the Marlins just haven't had it easy. The team. Once again, with the turnaround jump hook. Lele turns it over. Pride running. Mabasa all the way and a layup. Pride building on the lead. They take a three point lead. 5 10 to play. Shanghai. Now with the game, looking to get some offense for the Marlins. Got it! With the three. Ties it at 56. Just under five minutes to play. Shanga once again on the offensive end for the Marlins. Zane rolling to the basket. The trees there with a tip in. Mabasa. Manubele on the inside gets the floater. It's been a tough, tough game for the Marlins, grinding out the win. And uh, they pick up that win right there. The pride, valiant effort by the pride, playing with a depleted squad, but of course the Marlins pick up the victory. Scores at full time, Marlins 68, pride 62.
Welcome back to Wembley Arena. Of course, this is the scene. The Eastern Cape Windbreakers take on the Mpumalanga Rhinos. This is the Basketball National League in 2015. And let me tell you, the lights are on and uh, we are ready to roll. The Eastern Cape Windbreakers are ready probably for the uh, player introductions. But hey, we are ready to rock and roll even with our match officials and my man at QD4 with a breakdown of the Eastern Cape Windbreakers. Ntanya in the corner will try the triple, got it! Mapitiza spins on the baseline, a tough, tough layup. And Rhinos turn it over once again. Smusiso Ala, he's in trap but uh, kicks that ball out. Panda in the corner for three. And get it to go. It is an offensive rebound working underneath. Jump hook. This Windbreakers team, I'm liking their body language right now. Rhinos flat and Coach Slope doing all he could to try and get them in. Romano. Nifty left hand layup. Kevin Romano. And another steal by the Rhinos, but uh, Romano turns it over, looking to kick it to Sambo. Banda down the floor, weaving through traffic, puts up the shot, back iron. Kagama with the rebound, Romano all along, Gola with the chase. Gola almost got there. And Romano getting the finish, crowd getting into it. The Rhinos have uh, switched to a press defense. Madikwa to the basket. Left-handed layup is good. Madikwa showing good touch under the rim and the windbreakers trailed by one. Sambo between defenders to the basket and Mukwena tips it in. Mukwena now leading the break for the Rhinos who look to take it all the way down the floor, coast to coast. A little showtime by Marcus Mukwena. Coast to coast for the big man. seko has got to be more aggressive. Literally looking like he had no idea what to do with the ball up the floor. Penetrate and finish. Look, making it look very easy right now. Makwabe. Beautiful ball handling by uh, Tobela Makwabe and finding a path to the basket. Zanya on the outside, rattles in the three. And a steal, Sambo and Zanya connect. Ten point game, Rhinos under eight minutes to play in the third. Mapitiza, top of the key, working it. Matiko on the outside, no second thoughts about that. He'll hit the three. Gama with the rebound, a long, long pass down the floor to Ndanya. And the score by Ndanya between two defenders. Madigua will pull up the three. And back iron, fresh 14 seconds of offensive rebound ball. Panda, Nondwana, kicks it to Langa. Mukwena, acrobatic layup. Mokwena is amazing sometimes around the rim. You're not even sure how the ball ends up inside that rim. Romano rolling to the basket and just banks in the shot. Ball has got to be moved up from your half of the court to the other side within eight seconds. Madikwa! And Madikwa has continued to make it rain from the outside. Knocks down his third three-pointer. And full-time score, Windbreakers 56, Rhinos 71.